The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hello everyone. We have some showers here and there a little bit towards the south of us uh, in you know, south of Carroll County. And then we did have some in Halifax and Charlotte. At this point, there's a little bit of rain left over, but most of that system is moving towards the south and east. So might get some of those downpours that are closer to Farmville in Charlotte County pretty soon. But other than that, it's going to stay pretty calm. Now for a wider look, let's go ahead and switch over to our national radar so we can see the extra pieces of energy that are coming through right now. And we'll zoom the camera out just a little bit too. There is some rainfall off towards our west. I don't think it's going to have a great chance of actually reaching us just because the energy is more concentrated down towards the south. That's the direction that it wants to move right now. There are plenty of storms coming through Mississippi, Alabama and over into Kentucky and Tennessee. But again, that's mostly moving south with some eastward component. We still have storms coming tomorrow, but at least we get a little bit of a break before they actually reach us. Most of us are outside of any severe risk for today. It's pretty limited in this part of the country. Then tomorrow, a lot of us are in a level one risk with much of South Side included in a level two risk. That extends from parts of Patrick Henry or parts of Patrick County rather all the way up towards Appomattox. I do think damaging wind is going to be the greatest threat with this storm system, but let's look all the way through it on the future tracker. This evening, we mostly stay dry. We could get some redevelopment around 10 p.m., but it's going to be hard for that to really gain any energy. Just light showers overnight. Now by 6 a.m., we've got some more noticeable showers and some rumbles of thunder. Uh, along the edge of the mountains that keeps on moving towards the east so that 10 a.m. We've got more widespread rainfall now between 10 and noon that starts to turn into a more organized line extending generally south to north, but a little bit towards the northeast as well. That's going to carry some intensity with it. I think that's probably our best chance of storms because this is the actual cold front moving through. Once it gets a little bit further towards the east around 2 p.m., we don't have a really high severe threat. There's still some showers and even some storms left over in the later part of the day, but Nothing like the energy that's coming earlier on. The longer we can have clouds in the morning, the less severe chance we have. And gradually, as more and more information has come in, it's been looking less and less intense. So that's good news for us shaping up on Saturday. Monday, we start off pretty dry. I do think we could get some showers and even isolated storms coming through after noon. But what's going to be coming through on Monday is pretty light. That's also been backing off in intensity. For tomorrow, damaging wind is the main threat with some flooding possible just because we've got showers pretty consistently during the day. So some isolated spots could see that the hail risk is pretty low and tornadoes just don't really have the right energy to form. Now we are holding on to quite a bit of heat overnight, even though we've got a break from most of the rainfall. Pulaski is at 65, Roanoke at 70, and Alta Vista at 70. So there's lots of heat to work with. It means it's easy to warm up again on Sunday. That'll put temperatures into the 70s and 80s. That's cooler than what we got to today because of all the clouds and rain that are going to keep temperatures down. And that's the pattern on Monday, too. On the extended forecast, we stay in the mid-80s there, but sunshine on Tuesday after our storms are taken care of bumps us back up into the 90s. We stay pretty close to 90 through a lot of the week with some showers coming through on Thursday. There's more isolated storms as we get towards Friday and Saturday, but even those are more looking like showers right now. So it's mostly staying calm, but another soggy weekend. And on the three degree guarantee, we added another 10 on for today, putting us at 150. Got all the way up towards 90 degrees today, so plenty of heat and definitely feeling humid.